Sunday. It is the end of the weekend, and I am very sad. But I got a chance to go back to the toy show today. I really wanted to go because I had to get some goodies for my husband for our anniversary, and they are all tucked away hidden, and they will come out in October, so we'll do a special anniversary video um, in October for Halloween. But I did want to share some of the other things I got that were not a surprise. Um, the main reason I went back was because our friend Jim had these transformers, and um, we really needed more Decepticons because... Um, yeah, they looked really cool. So um, I'm going to open like one or two and see what we got. The last time, um, who did we get last time? I don't remember. I think we got Shockwave last time. Um, so, okay, we definitely got someone new. But it's, no, it's not. It's Shockwave. But he's orange, so that's okay. That's cool looking, right? Cool, Shockwave. Um, we're really trying to get star screams, so, you know, I'm going to hopefully cross my fingers that we get star screen. We have a whole star screen, like, shrine downstairs. It's, like, underneath our television in our entertainment center, so. Wow. Shrapnel looks interesting. I like it. I really like the orange colors. The, they are really popping, and I really like the, the bright orange. I dig them. Awesome. Um, but yeah, Insecticons too, very nice. I, this is a very, very nice little lot. Um, yeah, I'm going to do more. I think I'm just going to open them all because, because. Um, that's what I went back for. I told him, I said, buddy, I need to get some more of these because um, he did not get a star stream, so. Ooh, Megatron, and he's blue. Look it. Gorgeous. I love this. And I love the stickers. They're really pretty, too. Awesome. It's like everything comes with, like, stickers. Like, I remember back in the day when they had those lollipops of the Spice Girls. They came with stickers, too. Kids love stickers. Kids today aren't, like, really into them. But, God, we had, like, sticker books and everything. Oh, we got another trap. No. But he's blue. I have a feeling that if I do not get the star scream in this last one, I'm going to have to contact Jim and try and get more of these. Or hunt them down on the internet, which is not always fun. I, I love going out for the hunt. The hunt is the best part. All right, so sorry. Didn't make it star scream. But we got a blue and an orange Megatron. All right. But I'm going to give one to my brother because my brother absolutely loves Megatron. So I'm going to ship one off to him in New Jersey and um, give him one to display as well. So we're going to have to get more of these, but they were very really cool. And we have like the perfect place to put them. So awesome. All right. And the next thing I got while I was at the show, um, I'm going to have to explain to you guys. So last video, um, I told you there was somebody selling the... Um, the new Snake Mountain minis. And so I went back today and I had a really nice conversation with the gentleman. Um, I was kind of explaining to him how my son has been really getting into He Man. He really loves the little ones. For some reason, they're just really playable for him. They're little mini things. He has like little mini cars, mini trains, whatever. He loves them. So I had a conversation with the guy and he wants to make sure that everybody gets a fair shot. And there are a lot of people that have been coming up to him and asking him just for the Golden Skeletor. And he feels that if the older collectors are coming and getting all of the good pieces, that the other people that, you know, like the little kids that are coming to the show, like my son and other little people that are, you know, collecting, won't get the opportunity to get the special, the special um, Skeletor. So he wanted to make sure that everybody, even the little ones, gets the opportunity to get a special variant. So um, I wound up buying them, and um, I already know who's in them. Um, I believe one is Beast Man, and the other one is Regular Skeletor. So I don't think I'm going to open these quite yet. Um, I'm going to use these as display until we get some more, because I really love the mountain. I just I wanted to show you this a little bit. 
I'm, I'm like really tempted to open these though. Um, I'm, you know, I think I'm going to do it. Okay, guys, I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. I know I give you guys heart attacks. Like, I really do. Um, but I'm just going to open one for my son. And I'm looking around and, oh, there's a little perforation here. I got it. I got it. I got it. Guys, I'm not all there today. I had, I had a really fun day today. And, um, and here is the little Skeletor. So I honestly don't know um, if there's any difference in the Wave 1 and Wave 2. So I'm actually going to grab the one behind me and see if there's an actual difference. Um, I'm going to stick his staff in his hand. Finally, I got it on the first try. All right, so there's the battle armor, and here is the other Skeletor. So, looking at them, they are exactly the same. So, all right, that kind of doesn't make sense. Like, I, from a collector's point of view, like, I don't like it. Um, I kind of kind of want something a little different. I mean, they're both good. They're both kind of cute. We don't know. It looks like one is smiling and one is not, but I don't, I don't know. Um, but as a collector, not a fan. I, I really wish there was something different. But for kids, I get it. They're, you know, in case you missed it in the first wave, um, then you can get it in the second wave. So, and the slick skeleton really doesn't want to stand for some odd reason. There we go. Got him. But yeah, no, I understand. And and I will show you guys in here. This is the new, um, the Wave 2, and it looks really cool because I'm really excited for the first appearance Trap Jaw. It did not get Trap Jaw yet, but, I mean, his colors are fantastic. And I just want to show you guys the inside art for this. It looks really cool. Uh, we actually have this in a little frame that we're going to hang in our room as well, like in this room as well. So now we've got these. Have you seen all the wonderful things online that people have been doing to sort of customization for these? They look gorgeous. People have been making them look really weird, weird, like adding moss onto them and adding some like deep colors, and they've actually come out really gorgeous. I still have to do mine. I haven't done it yet. Um, I'm, I'm working on it because, as you saw a couple videos, I got that beautiful tapestry. I'm going to be working on that first. So I'm really excited for this bee fan because this is um, my son's favorite. He loves bee fan so much. Don't know why. Maybe just because he's a furry guy. Kind of looks like daddy all hairy. Aw, he's cute. I love his whip. And I don't think, yep, there we go, there we go, there we go. So yeah, this one definitely is different. It's very bright orange, which I really love. And his face looks a lot dopier, and I really like it. Like this beast man looks mad. And this is the um, Maddie Collector style. This one is the very color oriented, attention to detail. Um, and I really like it, it's gorgeous. And um, it kind of looks almost like the same sculpt, I think. Let me see, one more time. Yeah, it's the same sculpt except for the face. The face is different. Like he's going Arr, here and here he's going. Arr. So, you know, got two different facial expressions. And of course, the um, attention to detail and color is Maddie Collector. Gotta love it. Oh, the whips are different. Okay, that's cool. So we got like a big old snake like whip over here and a smaller one. But. And it's like, it's more of a cone around here. But yeah, no, it looks really nice. I like them. Very cool. My son's going to be very happy that he's going to have a little beastie to play with. And um, eventually I'm going to get to the customization of the Castle Grey Skull. I swear I will get there. And now I'm done with the marketplace. I am. I have not been on. I am true to what I said. My husband, however, sent me on a run. Um, stop it for a minute. So I'm driving over to my friend's house and all of a sudden I get a text. It's an address. And I text him back. I'm like, what's this? He's like, I need you to go make a pickup. So I still had cash left over from the show. So there I go making a pickup. Um, so I will show you what we got from there. 
Um, this one's all me. Um, I'm really glad that he decided to get this. Um, chia. Like, I've, I've actually never seen one before. Like, a Chia Pet, like, in person. They were, like, an 80s thing. It was, like, way gone when I was a kid. Um, I remember seeing the little ch 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 chia commercials and stuff. But um, this is a Moss Man, which is perfect, right? I love Moss Man. He's grassy and mossy. Perfect. So I am actually probably going to do this. I do not have a green thumb. I do not, I don't do things with plants and everything, but I'm going to try it. And maybe we'll do like a little um, caption of like how it grows if it grows hopefully it grows so that was one and then they had a bunch of action figures so it was really awesome all right so we have an anti-attorney he-man so he looks amazing um this is like the concept was made in germany and it's kind of come over to america and this is a maddie collector one that they did a classics and um Again, as true to Maddie Collector, it's very attention to detail, very colorful. Um, I like the, the skull on the shield and everything, and he is the most evil man in the universe. Love it. Um, I will show you the back here. Looks gorgeous, right? love the art and like the whole box is different like it's got like the black and red going on and the thunder like I absolutely love it um yeah like it would be kind of cool to see if they actually made like a castle hell skull to go with him that would be kind of cool all right so they had that and they had another Maddie Collector one, and this is the Maddie Collector take on the um, filmation version. So this is the Clawful, and it's really funny because he looks exactly like the cartoon, which is, I, I had that question. When I first got into He-Man and I first started watching the cartoons, I was confused as to why Clawful's action figure looked different than what was in the cartoon. But... As we said in a video or two ago, the action figures were actually made before the TV show, so that's kind of why. But Clawful is my oldest son's favorite, David. He absolutely loves him because he's so doofy. So, and look at that. We got the beautiful art on the back. Love it. I just love the display in this, like the, the whole Castle Grayskull and everything. It, it's gorgeous. I really, I really love attention to detail. All right, and these other ones... These ones we even got with the box, so it's really cool. I'm excited. And um, these are the filmation versions as well. It makes such a weird noise when it comes out of the box. Um, this is Super 7's version of the filmation, and I love this. It's beautiful. Um, let me see. I don't want to. I don't want to. There we go. And this is. Katrina and I remember seeing an episode with her in it but I remember not liking it but she's like the ancient cat people kind of thing um like in the jungle and you know but yeah we'll see I don't really remember the cartoon version of her too well but it was a cool find yeah, I was really glad that my husband found these because I knew we had some, but I don't I don't remember. We used to have more. Um, but I love these boxes that they come in because it's just, it makes it so much better as a collector to just put them in the box. All right. So we've also got Shadow Weaver. I love me some Shadow Weaver. Um, and to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't, I wasn't so much of a fan until I saw her in the She-Ra cartoon, and I really loved her character. It really built her character. Um, so I absolutely loved learning more about her through that series. And I don't know if you guys ever saw it on Netflix, but I really, really implore you, go watch it. It is worth your time. So this is the beautiful Shadow Weaver. Um, yeah, I, I just... I love her. She's so mysterious, so creepy. She's got all these beautiful mystic powers, and she's got such a history. So here's the back art. Love it. Cool. All right. So I'm going to put the little sleeve on. 
And I'm just gonna make a little pile over here. That's what I'm gonna do. Who do we have next? Prince Adam. So I always, always joke about Prince Adam. Like I, I just can't take him seriously. <laughs> he, he cracks me up. Um, it's the whole, you know, Superman and Clark Kent thing. It's like, I don't understand how, um, the people around him don't know he's he man, but, um, Prince Adam, he makes me laugh. I mean, he's got his fabulous pink, um, his top and his fabulous, um, leggings for his fabulous powers that were revealed to him. But I love it. I know it, it's funny because I my I make fun of my husband all the time. He hates when I do it, but I think it's kind of funny. So, yeah, he comes with um, another head, like where he's more distinguished, like you know, trying to figure out what's going on. And he's also got another hand, which I, I honestly don't know why you would need another hand. So, I mean, whatever. I mean, because it's the same as the other ones. It looks like you know, the little you know, weird grip thing, but. So we got the Prince Adam and then Stratos. I just love the fact that Stratos sounds like Sean Connery. It just cracks me up. Um, but my son also really likes him too. Um, I think that that's my son's favorite hero. Um, he likes him some Stratos. He will fly him around. He really loves his arm guards, his wings. Um, and he loves flying them around the house. And I have seen this guy fly around the house quite a few times. So there we go, Sir Stratos. Yeah, he's pretty cool. My son loves him. And there's the art on the back. Really cute, he comes with little jet packs and everything. Love him. Awesome. All right, and I'll put them back a little later. Okay, so after I pick these things up, I finally got to my last destination. I was going to visit one of my friends today and they're doing like a little self quarantine thing. So we were like sitting at two different picnic tables, but they got me a graphic novel that they wanted me to read. Um, it's called Day Tripper, Fabio Moon and Gabriel Ba. I think it sounds really cool. Um, so I was reading the back of it a little bit and um, it's about an, an author who he writes epitaphs for, um, no, he, obituaries. So he writes obituaries. And essentially, he wants to be an author, a famous author. And it's all about, like, his quest of life, you know, what his life means to him and, you know, his whole journey. So it's a real story about, like, life and and how to live it and living your best day kind of thing. And it's by Vertigo. So I'm going to give it a read. I'm really excited. And I want to thank you, Anna, for giving me this book. I'm really excited to read it. And we're actually going to do like a little book club over Zoom thing. So we're going to um, read it. And then maybe by the end of the week, like catch up and see where we're at and see what parts we liked. And that's really a fun thing to do. Um, we're doing a lot of things virtually. Like, I don't know if you guys ever saw, but they're doing like the comic book conventions virtual. I don't know how I feel about it, to be perfectly honest with you, because I love the experience of going there. Yes, it's crowded. Yes, there can be lines. Yes, it does get stinky. But it's the whole experience. There's nothing like the smell of a comic book convention. Like, it smells so funky, but it brings, it brings like, a sense of peace. Um... I love getting to see the vendors, touching the toys, touching the comics, seeing the cosplayers, getting like up and close and personal, seeing the details of their costumes. So doing a virtual con, I don't think for me would be beneficial, but I'm not going to knock it for trying it. It's the times that we're in. So again, friends, just keep collecting your toys, collect what you like. and. Hello everyone! I am so excited because we've reached our goal of 300 subscribers on the channel. So thank you guys so much for your support. It means so much to me, especially you guys have been commenting and really getting engaged in the videos and that means a lot. It means you're watching. So now that we've gotten to our 300, I think I'm going to set a new goal. And we're slowly approaching 400, so I think the next milestone is going to be 500. So if we hit 500 subscribers, I think 
I want to do another walkthrough. And we have two rooms that I really want to show off. My husband's office that has some really cool stuff in it. And our second toy room downstairs that has all things toys down there. So what I would like you guys to do is to continue to like and subscribe and to comment as usual. And also, once you subscribe, hit that bell for the, the notifications so you can hear and see our new videos that are coming out or the old ones too. Um, so yeah, let's get there. Let's get to 500. I kind of want to show off our rooms. So we'll see you guys real soon and continue to spread the word and support. Bye guys.